I've tried loads of meal replacement products in the last five years, from the powder shakes you make up, ready to drink bottles, bars, cereals, even sweets in the form of gummies. But this new hot and savory complete food from Huel just might be a game changer. Let's find out why. Hi there, it's Clive Linden here and welcome to another meal replacement product review. If you're new to this channel, do me a massive favor, hit that subscribe button and toggle that notification button so you know when I go live with reviews like this and uh, loads of other stuff. And also everybody just hit those like buttons because YouTube like it, I like it and uh, I'll be forever grateful. I've been trialing and tasting meal replacement products for about four to five years now. Uh, many of those reviews are featured on this channel and they all try to achieve the same thing. Maximum nutritional benefit with minimal effort. Perfect. Perfect for those with busy lifestyles or, or people who are just wanting to make sure they get all the right essential vitamins and minerals, etc. that their body needs. Uh, and it's ideal for me because, you know, I know I don't always eat healthily. I can't be bothered to cook sometimes properly, but I want to make sure that my body's getting all those essential minerals and vitamins and I'm remaining healthy. Meal replacement products do this in the most convenient form. And so you have products like Soylent, Huel, Plenty, and the many, many others that I've tested on this channel. A meal that has just the right amount of protein, essential fats, carbohydrates, and all the vitamins and minerals that your body needs in a nice, convenient delivery package. The one downside of meal replacement products like shakes and the ready-to-drink bottles, etc., is, well, if we're honest, they can be a bit bland and a bit boring. Yeah, you can flavor them up and do some stuff with it, but drinking the same gloopy shake every day whilst purely functional and it delivers everything you need it to deliver, it's not the most exciting way to consume food. Plus, you know, they're cold and sometimes you want something warm and nice inside you. Enter stage right, fuel hot and savoury. Yep, it does exactly what it says on the pack. It's hot and it's savoury. So what exactly is it? And what does it taste like? So according to the blurb, this is real food, real taste, real nutrition, packed with quinoa, rice and lentils, bursting with herbs and spices and every essential vitamin and mineral you'd expect in your normal Huel product. So have Huel just created a meal replacement product meal? So what you get here is all the 26 essential vitamins and minerals we get with the meal replacement shakes that we're all familiar with, whole food natural ingredients, 24 grams of plant-based protein, it's high in fiber, and yes, it's vegan. Now the bags, uh, they come with uh, a little hot pot, which I'll explain uh, later, and uh, a scoop for two scoops of the, the goodness. So it's two scoops of this, and then you add about 210 mils of boiling water. You, leave, you stir, leave for five minutes, and you have a hot, tasty meal. That's the idea. As convenient as a pot noodle, but with all your essential 26 vitamins and minerals, your omegas three and six, delivered in a nice, perfect 400 calorie meal. Now they come in two flavors, the tomato and herb, and they do a nice here, uh, a Thai, a spicy Thai green curry. So I'm really excited to try these out because whilst, you know, I can manage a shake every day for lunch or even a bar for lunch. I don't have a problem with that. Occasionally, Occasionally, it'd be nice to have something hot and something a bit more savory and stuff and flavorsome. And I, in the evenings, I usually have like a normal meal, but even then, sometimes it could just be scrambled egg on toast or something. I much prefer a warm meal in the evening. And so this does provide me with another option. So ultimately, I'm hoping it does the job, that it's genuinely tasty. So without further ado, Let's test it out. It's not a game, it's a red skin.
Okay, so first thing to know is that when you open the bags here, I mean the smell, you can really smell, a really nice smell, the fragrant smell of the herbs and the spices, really nice, especially because I did have a little smell open of the Thai green curry one, especially the, uh, this one, it, it smells great, just, just before you even gonna make it up. When you make it up again, this I've made this one up and I've added the, I added to the fill level, it seems quite thick, but actually if you're eating with a fork, that's all right. I think if you filled it up with too much water, then you sort of get, like you do with a pot noodle, you get sort of too much water at the bottom left over. So, and sometimes it's eat harder to eat with a fork because it's too runny. You need to balance out the constituency of it. Um, I think I probably would have added a little bit more water uh, to this one but it looks all right. So uh, let's give it a taste. That's the, that's the main thing. As I say, it smells really nice. This is the tomato and herb one. It's quite tomatoey, but this is nice. This is so much nicer than just having a, a meal replacement shake. It's warm. It's tasty. I mean, there is a sort of the tomatoey taste you sort of get with a kind of cup of soup, that slightly powdery tomatoey taste you get. I'm not sure what the Thai curry one will be like, and I'll do a separate little insert video of that one. I'll try that one out separately. But it is very tasty. This is very tasty, and you can kind of feel the real food in here as well. Yeah, this is nice. This is a great product and a great idea. We'll see whether it fills me up. And as I say, when I do the uh, tester for the Thai curry, I'll let you know, because I would have had chance to um, see how long this has kind of satiated me and filled me up. But so far, I'm really impressed. I think this is great um, and pretty cool. I'm looking forward to trying the Thai curry one, because uh, the Thai green curry one, because it does smell really nice. When you open that packet, Smells really nice. Um, so I'm excited about that one. But there you go. This is the tomato and herb one. Tastes really great. I'm really liking it so far. So here I am with the Thai green curry one. It smells really nice, uh, I must admit. It's quite runny, uh, this. Now I did make up the tomato one and that ended up having a much more thick consistency. Although I don't, you can see, um, the various kind of bits in there, the quinoa, rice, sweet corn, I even saw some bits of the um, tomato. They have the elements of tomato actually in the powder they make up, except obviously it's milled, so you don't really kind of notice it at all. But as soon as you, what I did notice, as soon as you open this packet, the smells and flavors that come out, the fragrance is really nice. You can really smell all the different, the spices, or in this case, the tomato-y kind of flavors. To give you, they say you should shake the packet as well, because some of the, you know, the heavier ingredients will sort of sink to the bottom and the lighter ingredients will sit on top. So you need to kind of mix it. And when you scoop, sort of scoop from the bottom, you know, give it a good old mix. So that what you're doing, I'll try and show you in here. This is the dry product. I don't know if you can see it. You probably won't be able to see very well, but you can see the various bits, the sort of quinoa, rice, bits of, you know, the dry, dried food and stuff, which kind of give it all the flavor and stuff like that. And then amongst that is all the kind of the powder, the nutritional mix that we're kind of a, a bit more familiar with. So you don't want to be just scooping out the powder. You want to be scooping out the powder with all the kind of real food ingredients as well. So it pays to give the bag a good shake and to try and scoop from the bottom. But the smell is really nice, I have to say, I have to admit. As I say, I've left this for five minutes. I've given it a good shake. I'm looking forward to this. I hope I don't scold myself. Five minutes is enough. Yeah, that's really nice. It's quite spicy. It's got a nice hot and spicy, not a, like a kind of uncomfortable spicy, just a bit of a punch. There's a spicy punch to it. Very flavors, very flavorsome. Nice smell coming from there. There's a slight chewiness to it because of the kind of 
uh, quinoa and the rice element to it and that and stuff and the sweet corn. I guess the grains. But that's really nice. I really like it. Yeah, you can see the rice and some of the grains in there on the on the fork. I'll try and hold up. You probably won't be able to see, but there we go. This one's a bit more runny. I think I may have added a bit too much water to this one, but it's it's still really nice. It's just obviously you're going to end up with liquid at the bottom, which is going to be a problem if you're eating with a fork. I suppose you could just drink out the last bit. But really, really nice. So um, I'm really impressed with that. As I said, when I tried out the tomato one, just for reference, it did fill me up to the end. So um, I can confirm that it does fill you up. So that's um, yeah, really cool and really key. Yeah, I'm really liking that. So that's really great. Thai green curry, top flavour, loving it. So as I say, what you get when you buy it for the first time, it comes with this nice little hot pot. Um, they recommend, it is dishwasher proof, but they recommend you hand wash uh, for longevity and uh, a scoop, two perfect scoops. And then you, there's a fill line in here in which you're meant to fill the boiling water to. I think you might need to adjust the water to suit your taste. So for instance, when I tasted the tomato one, maybe I put, I could have had some more water, although it's quite nice in that form. But then when I first tasted the Thai one, maybe I'd put a little bit too much water in. So you, you can just sort of vary it slightly until you get the consistency you want. That's the main thing. Price wise, it works out about £2.36 a meal. So that's still cheaper than your kind of your, sav your average sandwich down at your local corner shop or whatever. Or in my case, you know, a miso chicken soup from Itsu. Um, and it's about the same price as the ready to drink bottle that you'll do that you can get in supermarkets and stuff like that. But it's more expensive per meal than, say, the Huel powder shake that you would make up, which is from £1.10. Those prices are assuming that you subscribe. So the actual cost per meal is probably slightly more if you buy one-offs. So overall, I'm really impressed with this as I think it's a great alternative and a, another option in this kind of whole gamut of meal replacement products. And what I really like about it, as soon as you even open this, even though it's sort of dry food, as soon as you open the packet, the smells and the fragrance that come out are really nice. And, you know, with anything with food, smell is half the battle in terms of flavour and stuff like that. And so you get a really, really tasty meal. I prefer the Thai curry one because it has a bit more flavour. It's a bit more punchy. Uh, but if you find things, that, you know, a little bit too spicy now and then, then the tomato one is absolutely uh, fine. I mean, it has that sort of slightly powdered tomato taste that you get with a, you know, like a cup of soup to a certain degree. But there's real food in there, so you know that it's healthy and you know it's good. I'm really impressed with this. I think it's a great addition to the Huel range. Um, and so I'm certainly gonna be utilizing this more and more. It delivers all those elements that you get in your standard shake, but in a much more flavoursome and warming way and for that I, I've got to thank you. I think it's a winner. I think this could be a, a bit of a game changer. I've always loved a bit of a pot noodle you know just for the pure convenience sake. Now I have all of that but reassuring that at least I know I'm getting all those essential minerals and vitamins that our body needs in a kind of 400 calorie meal. So great. Well done Huel. I hope you found that useful. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, please hit subscribe, hit like, all of that. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for spending your time with me. And I'll see you around very, very soon with more reviews. Thank you.